g'day and welcome to another video. Oh, I can't take myself seriously when I'm wearing a ninja mask. <laughs> so as you can see, today's lesson, we're going to learn how to make a ninja mask. So this one is for an adult and I will show you how to make thick straps and also thinner straps if you would like. Um, yeah, so this is fits me, but if you're, this is used in worsted weight, if you use 8 ply, this would probably fit a kid. <laughs> Alrighty, so, let's get started on the lesson. We will be following along with my pattern, so I will have that on the side. I will put the link below in the description box where you can find that pattern. We are also going to need a crochet hook. Now I've got worsted weight yarn, you could use 8 ply or double knit yarn if you like. But because I'm using worsted weight, I have a 4mm crochet hook, or that's a size G, around about a size G. Whatever yarn you're using, you want to drop down a few hook sizes because we want nice tight tension so that the, the mask is nice and firm. You're also going to need a sewing needle and a pair of scissors. Now I've got a, let me just check, I've got a 7, seven ounce or a 200 gram ball. Now that's probably going to make at least three masks, so you're not going to use too much at all. So we're going to be grabbing our yarn and making a slip knot. What we want to do is chain 29 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, and twenty nine. We will be doing a half double crochet into the seventeenth chain from the hook. So we want to count back seventeen chains, but we don't count the one on our hook. Seventeen, and we're going to half double crochet into there. I'm just going to put that there because I just need to pick my yarn back up, and I don't want to lose that stitch. So we're yarning over, going into the seventeenth chain from the hook. and working our half double crochet and then we're going to do a half double crochet in the next four stitches so that's one Two, three, and four. We're going to chain eight. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're going to skip these eight chains and we're going to slip stitch into that first stitch. So making sure your chain is straight and not twisted, slip stitch into that first chain. So 
So in the next row it says chain 3, Eleven double crochets into the chain space. So into this big hole that we've got here. So we've got this funny looking thing like that. So into this chain space, which is the hole that we've created there, we're going to work eleven double crochets. So yarn over, go into the big hole, and we're working around our chain. And I'm actually going to work over my tail that I've got there as well. So we want tw uh, 11 all together. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine, ten, <coughs> excuse me, and eleven. We will be doing half double crochet into the next five stitches, so along there. So what you're going to do? You don't want all your chain, all your stitches crunched up like that, and you've got this big chain left. What you want to do is spread them out. On your chain. So we're going to half double crochet in the next five stitches. So, so now we're actually working into the base of the chain there. So working into the chain for a half double crochet and into the next one. into the next one and into that last stitch here and we want to work 24 double crochets into the chain space and it says to spread out the double crochets so they are over the chain. So we're working around our chain here into this space. And we're going to cover up the chain with 24 double crochets. So yarn over, go into the into the hole. I'm just holding that so it's easy for me to do. That's one. Two, three, four, five. I'll just keep going, but I won't be counting. Okay, so I think that's 24. I'm going to double check. Yes, it is. And what we want to do is space them out evenly. So this little bit of chain here is covered up as well. So I'm just going to very gently pull that across.
and we're going to work one half double crochet next each of the next five stitches One, two, three, four, five, and now twelve double crochets into the chain space. So we want to add the other section of this one. So yarning over, going into the hole, working 12 double crochets. See how that's gone really loose there? Don't like that, so I'm going to pull that out. And I'm just pulling it down a little bit. That's better. So one. Make sure that's 12, 12, and then join to the chain 3. So this is our chain 3 from the start, so 1, 2, and the third chain. I like to grab the front loop and the back loop. And then work a slip stitch to join. So now we are going to be working. <laughs> Looking good. We're going to be working the strap that comes off the side of here that ties up around our head. So we're going to do one side first. Just grabbing some more yarn. And on the instructions it says chain until you have the length of your head circumference. I'm making this head circumference for 50 centimeters. My chain will be about 50 centimeters long. So I'm going to make a chain. Keep going. And you, you're not going to really count them. You can if you want to, but I'm not going to worry. I'm going to keep chaining until I have the head circumference of who this is going to be made for. Now I will put Bev's Country Cottage link down below in the description box and that will give you head sizes if you don't know the sort of average head size for the person that you're making it for. And I think that starts anywhere from newborn actually I think it actually starts from preemie all the way up to adults and adult men as well. So that will give you a good indication. So you're basically making a chain until you have that head measurement that you need. Because we want it to be longer than half because this is obviously on one side. We need it longer than half because you want to be able to tie it up at the back. So I'm just going to keep chaining. As you can see it's quite long. Don't have my tape measure on me at the moment, but I'm going to guess about 50 centimeters. Yep, that's about 50 centimeters. So as you can see, I have a big long chain. And what we're going to do is single crochet all the way back until we get back to here. So we're going to turn the work. So I'm just putting this on this side. We're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook 
and each chain across so not counting this one here that's number one that's number two oops so single crochet we're going straight into the stitch and working a single crochet into the next chain single crochet Now I'm not going to feel myself crocheting all the way back across because that's going to be boring. And I'll meet back to you when we're back down to this part. So I've single crocheted all the way. And I've got one chain left. And then it says single crochet in the next available stitch. So this is our next available stitch here, because you'll see that that's joined here. So our next stitch is there, so we're going to single crochet We're going to work an increase, so that's two single crochets into the same stitch So that's one and two And then one single crochet in the next two stitches, so one, one in the next. And then we're going to repeat from star to star, you'll, and you'll see that on the pattern. So we're going to repeat the increase and then one single crochet in the next two stitches until we're up to the twelfth stitch. that we worked into the chain loop. So it says see picture below, so I'll show you the photo. So see the photo here, and then you'll look at your... So it's on the edge here, that's on this side here. So we're going to work across until we get to there. So we've done the two, yep, so we're doing increase in the next one and then one and one increase in the next one one Oops. and one Increase in the next one. It's one. One into the next. Excuse me, I've just got a cough. <coughs> Sorry. So we're working an increase. And across here, if you accidentally miss a stitch or like you don't do enough increases or something, that's really not going to matter. So let's increase in the next. Sorry, my yarn keeps getting stuck. one into the next one, one into the next, and then increase, one, one, increase. And if you find that the top of this is ruffling a lot, spread out your increases. So put one by itself, so maybe put three and then an increase. This pattern can be adjusted really easily without making it change too much. So it's an increase. So we want the twelfth stitch, so let's see what we've got to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12. So I've got two left. Did you see that? So I've counted 12 stitches around and that's that one there. So I finished here. I finished on just a single two there. There's one in each stitch and that's my increase. If you don't end on that it doesn't really matter. This pattern is not one that has to be exact. It will forgive you if you've got a couple of stitches out. So now what we want to do is make another chain and we're going to make it the same length as what we did on the other side. So we're going to chain along. Like I said you could have counted your chains but I'm not going to worry. This is going to be for a three year old so I don't think he's going to count the stitches to make sure they're exact. So I'm making my chain and what I'm going to do is can just pair it, compare it to the other side. So I'm going to unfold that. So I still have to keep going because I've got all this to go. So when we get to the end of our chain, we're going to do exactly what we did on the other side. We are going to work a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. Oops, so we don't need to wind it, do we? So single crochet and we're going to work this all the way back across until we get back to the mask section. So I've worked my last single crochet and then it says single crochet into the next available stitch. So we've already been there so the next one is here. And we want to single crochet in the next one. And increase. So that's two into the same stitch. One single crochet. One single crochet. And then an increase. So we're basically mirroring the top of the mask that we had, or the bottom. So we're doing exactly what we did around this edge. We're doing all around this edge. So it's one, one in the next, and then two, whoops. And we're going to repeat this all the way until we get to the strap over here. I'm just going to keep the camera running because I don't really have that much to go, so we can crochet along together.
Alrighty, so I'm going to end on an increase. If you don't end on an increase, it really doesn't matter. This is very forgivable, this pattern. Alrighty, so if you want your straps to be skinny like that, you are going to slip stitch into the next stitch. Do a chain one, cut your yarn, and then sew in your ends. And that's the end of your project. You want to sew in any loose ends that you have. So thank you for watching. If you've got a little gap like that, we can adjust the stitches so that we don't have any big gaps. Now what I did, I have one here. Look at this colour. This is bright purple. It looks blue on the screen, but it's really bright purple. This one was for me. Because <laughs> I made one for a little boy and I wanted one that matched. So I made one for myself. And I didn't want the really skinny strap like that one. Because it's for me. Like I thought it would look funny on me. So I wanted it thicker. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'll only show you how to do it on one side because the other side is exactly the same. So what we do is we don't finish off. So I'm just going to pull that back to there. And what we're going to do is we are going to... Now you can do a half double crochet or you could do a single crochet but I'm actually going to do a double crochet to make that band nice and wide because we're going to work down this side and then come back and work when we get down the end we're going to work down the other end of it as well so yarn over double crochet into the next stitch in the next stitch we're going to do a double crochet and we are going to work a double crochet until we get all the way to the end of this strap so, I think I just did some half double crochets there didn't I yep sorry guys so you're going to double crochet sorry there we go but like I said you can use single crochet you can use half you can use double crochet up to you. So keep going until you get right to the end of the strap. When we get to the last stitch we're going to work five double crochets or five of the stitch that you chose. And what this will do is help us turn around the corner. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. You could try four, you could try six if you think that looks better. That's really not important if you change it up a little bit. And now we're going to work back down the other side of the strap. Working one double crochet in each stitch. So continue on until you get back down to the mask. I'm up to the mask section of my project. I've got to work one more double crochet. And I'm going to work a single crochet into that stitch there. So it's a single crochet and then slip stitch into the next stitch. Find my scissors. And work a chain. Pull out. And I will need to sew that in later. Now, we need to do the other end, don't we? Looking good though, isn't it? So we've got 
got our thick strap. Now we need to add the yarn to this side. Alrighty, so what we're going to do to do the other side, we are going to join the yarn in the second stitch from the from the um, strap. So there's one, there's two. Because we want to try and make it so it doesn't stick out. You'll see what I mean. So work a chain, pull down at the back. Then we're going to single crochet into the next stitch. So we're trying to work it so it doesn't have this bump that looks really weird. I'm going to make it, make it look like it's all in one piece. So into the next stitch, so it's the first stitch on the strap, working a double crochet. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, work a double crochet. And we're going to be working double crochets all the way along. And by joining the yarn in that stitch and then single crochet in the next, it kind of makes it look like it all goes into one. You're going to have that slight little bump there, but you may be able to do, adjust it a little bit. Because we had to rejoin it in, it looks a smidge funny, but if this is for kids, and even if it's for adults, you're really not going to notice it. So double crochet all the way across. Work your five stitches in your last stitch like we did before. Double crochet back across. And then we will join when we get to here. So I have one more stitch to do. So that's a double crochet. And then the next stitch I'm going to work a single crochet. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch. Chain one and then pull the yarn out. I've already cut my yarn so pull it out. And now we need to just sew in our ends. That yarn's a bit, a bit long so trim that off. So thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it. I am sure that the person receiving these, well the green one's for me, <laughs> but I know the little boy's going to love it. So an easy way to get to my channel is to actually click on my username that is just below the video and also when you watch my videos um, in the description box there's lots of useful information there will be links to free patterns that I've written up there might be links to get head sizes there's also links to my Facebook Twitter Google Plus and websites and things like that so I just need to do that one and the beauty about this mask is that you can make them in so many different colours. There's all different characters that wears masks. As well as ninjas, of course. So please share your creation on our Facebook page. And if you don't have Facebook, Google Plus is a great place to share your work as well. Or you can email me your creation if you'd like to show me. Now there's an odd thread here. So there we go. Our mask. And because we did the increases here, this is going to be where our no nose goes. So that's going to sit nice on across our nose. And you've got your thick strap. Now, this would also look really good if you had have used the single crochet or half double crochet as, well, as a narrow strap as well. That would look really cool. So thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, happy crochet.